hi guys welcome back to the channel I'll show you very very briefly um, how the testing went it went fine uh, it all working I went through a few iterations and uh, problems but um, I'll show you along the way I'm not going to um, make this intro longer than it should bare minimum you need to write four registers right and I'll switch to registers if I can find them uh, yeah here so the first register uh, it just has one bit which is the reset so you need to reset uh, you start from a, a known configuration or from default configuration then you have some power off bits which you need to make sure they're off so your ADC is powered on uh, then you have a bunch of um, bits here to set the, the clock if you want the clock inverted this is a nice feature nice to have and then the clock phase now the clock phase what is the clock phase uh, the there is a delay you can actually delay the clock which the, first of all the clock travels with the data so the the ADC is going to uh, shift uh, the those words out accompanied by a clock which is synchronous with that data so you we capture the data using this clock which is forwarded by the ADC now you can actually shift phase the clock by uh, um, by some amount 45 degrees 90 degrees and so on so if if you want to capture exactly in the in the when the um, data is stable now I didn't have to do this because my PCB it's uh, everything is matched so it should it should work but anyway then you have the third register uh, where you can set the uh, different drive strengths for the LDDS which equals the swing uh, if you want the uh, termination it, you can out the the hardware can actually put some uh, 100 ohm resistors there in the on for each pair anyway um, and of course this is the most important one you need to tell the you need to tell the ADC to to sh to set those outputs as LVDS double data rate so this is the bare minimum otherwise it's pointless so I had to configure four registers in order to do this now this is actually another important register if you want to test the interface the best thing to do is actually to put a fixed pattern so this register you can actually choose between different patterns like a checkerboard uh, pattern or um, zero um, words alternating so I, I had actually to to go for both just to make sure that everything works okay so now going back to the tools where I'm going to show you um, how I'm testing this so how do I see what is going on inside the chip I put a, an ILA core ILA stands for integrated Log logic analyzer so I just go to the programming here on the hardware okay so this is what I'm going to sample so this is like a small logic analyzer which is inside of the chip so we just capture one more data, data set so what this is what I capture this is what comes from the actual ADC so if I show you so it's a checkerboard you see there are ones and zeros alternating and changing for every every sample which is pretty much this uh, this so it's a checkerboard output pattern now if I change the content of this register to alternating zero and ones and probably I'm going to do it while I'm speaking so I'll go here to the SPI and I need to change this to 3 right, this is what, uh, what I'm writing into the SPI it's a state machine which configures the, um, the ADC registers there is a separate video which explains this how this state machine works so I didn't want to put anything to program externally like a processor or a small microcontroller to program this over the SPI I, I wrote a small state machine and I'm putting here the constant what I want and it does this for me so just save uh, and generate a new bit stream. This is going to take two three minutes from the okay. We got a new bit stream, so uh, open cancel this, um, remind me later. I come here and I reprogram the device. Bang, and we go to the ILA and we recapture data. We should see alternating bits now, uh, alternating words. Sorry, kaboom. Now, um, if I zoom, here they are, all bits 1, all bits 0, pretty much mm, matching this, 
So one, 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 alternating output pattern, yada, yada. Okay, so it worked. I know the interface, it works. The next thing to do, I'm going to feed uh, a sinusoidal signal and I, will, I should be able to see it here. Uh, now, we'll see about that. Well, I put a sinusoid and I got some garbage. So if you see the sinusoid here, it looks very, very weird. But I noticed something that I have a bit swap. You see, in a, when you put a sinusoid, usually the lower bits, they should toggle faster. And you see, this is toggling half of the rate of this, the same thing. So that tells me that the bits are actually reversed which comes from the DDR register I think my clock is actually inverted and then I checked on the PCB and definitely my clock is inverted so I'm going to resort to the internal registers of the ADC and I'm going to invert the clock why? I can invert the clock in VHDL but the moment you invert the clock you might end up that the clock is not going to route on a on a dedicated clock resource it might get to the normal logic so I prefer to do this on the ADC uh, I'll come back with the with the update to this problem. Okay, I fixed the uh, inversion uh, bit problem, and now I see that I have some switching noise. You see here, there is this when many bits are switching, bang, noise, noise, noise. So this looks exactly like signal integrity problems. So the LVDS pairs are not working properly. I finally got the sinus uh, working, so I'll just make another capture here, bang, and I'll modify the frequency, and I'll go lower in frequency, and recapture, bang, even lower, hey, happy days, no noise, uh, let's go higher in frequency, oh, I need to put my glasses. Okay, so let's go what? Let's go two megs. This is a two megahertz signal. Sample. Hmm. Pretty okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, looks squeaky clean. I'll make this smaller. Yeah, let's see what's the maximum amplitude here. So, uh, yeah, I think I have a little bit of a overrun because this number is too large. So for what? Oh no, for 14 bits we are okay. Yeah, this is something I don't fully understand. So I'm sending here a signal which is supposed to be 2.2 peak to peak, which I think it should be too much. Uh, because now I'm on plus minus. I'm a two two volt peak to peak. I think it's actually attenuating the transformer and everything is attenuating or this fella here which is a Chinese um, signal generator uh, it might not actually have the amplitude into a 50 ohm load uh, anyway let's go higher with the amplitude like 3 volts go again Still not limiting. Okay, what's the maximum here? Seven. Okay. I think we are getting close. We're getting close. If you are looking here at the bits, yeah, we are getting into the MSBs. Let's give him four volts. Now it might be. I'm not sure if it's a generator or whatever. It's nearly biting into the... Maybe I should have um, sampled the overflow. There is an overflow pin which shows you that you have overflow. This is actually a nice feature, the overflow, because you can uh, drive a, a VGA before the... I mean, from the front end, from the RF front end, you can um, drive a variable uh, gain amplifier. But anyway, uh, it's working. I'm happy. Um, looks like a clean as a whistle. And uh, yeah. Working fine, ADC tested.